This is the pop and repeat project, which as far as I know, can only be done on Klecky. I tried to do it on Adobe Photoshop Sketch and it really was too difficult. So I recommend that everyone go to Klecky.com. That's K-L-E-K-I.com. Step one, you're gonna to go to Google Images and look for something that's popular in culture. And I'm doing Kobe Bryant. Um, and what you want to do is type in the word silhouette Kobe, silhouette Starbucks, silhouette whatever the picture is that you're looking for. And it can be anything popular in culture. It can be a Starbucks logo, a McDonald's logo. It can be a silhouette of Kobe. Um, but whatever you're using, my suggestion is that you either type in silhouette and the object or black and white because it'll be much easier. Once you have the picture, you want to screenshot it. On a Chromebook, it's Shift-Alt in the square. Open up Klecky.com, click the yellow envelope in the upper right corner, and select the image. Make sure when it asks as a layer or image, choose layer. And then you're going to size it small. You want it to be one-fourth of the canvas. In other words, you want to be able to fit the same exact picture underneath it and to the side of it. So you want to size it just right. If you make a mistake, you can always go back, but you can see how I'm making it pretty small, but I'll be able to fit something underneath. Now we need to duplicate this. So I'm going to go to layers, and the first thing you want to do to make this simple is rename the layer. It's going to be called layer two. Just name it one and rename. Then you're going to hit the third button, which is Duplicate Layer. And you're going to name this Duplicate Layer 2. And this layer is actually duplicated. You can't see it because it's underneath. So you go to Edit, Transform, and look at the magic. Size it just right. OK. And you're going to repeat the process. You're going to go back to Layers. You're going to hit the third key, which is Duplicate. You're going to name this layer. Uh, you're going to call it 3. You're going to go to Edit, Transform, and you're going to move it underneath and hit OK. Last time, you're going to do it for a fourth time now. You're going to go to Layers, and you're going to duplicate the third button. And this layer, let's call it 4. Let's rename it to 4. And hit Rename. And then I go to Edit, Transform. And I'm going to move it and put it right. And I'm going to hit OK. And now I have four Kobe's. OK, so now we're ready for the next step. OK, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make lines. So I'm going to change the paintbrush to the last option, which is shape. I'm going to choose black as my color, and I'm just going to draw a straight line down. And then I'm going to do a cross, uh, make like a cross. So one down, one horizontal, one vertical, and or one vertical, one horizontal. And then I'm going to repeat the process just so that each picture is in a box. And again, I'm using the shape tool, which is underneath the brush. And you just kind of got to eyeball it. If you need to zoom out at all, just hit the command minus. That should zoom it out. There's also a zoom out um, on the in Klecky on the right-hand side. The plus and minus is a zoom out. OK, so now I have my squares. And I'm going to now change to a paint bucket. And I'm going to choose a really bright color because um, bright colors and click in each box a different color because that's what Andy Warhol did. Okay, now I want to change um, the Andy Warhols as well and so what I'm going to do is I'm using the paint bucket and I'm just going to get those little white spots and I'm going to do a contrasting, a contrasting color. Now if you're not careful what will happen is if you click it just off he might turn entirely yellow um, and you know like this you might like it like that but I, I don't I'm gonna just put like 
touches of yellow. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other square, but this time touches of pink. Okay, and then I'm going to repeat the process. And you see if it's too pink, just undo it. I'm going to do the other two squares. Okay, and now I'm going to zoom out by hitting the plus or the minus. And I'm going to go back to edit, and I'm going to do crop. And I'm going to crop this, and you'll, you'll probably need to crop yours as well. And then I'm going to hit OK. There it goes. Now to save it, I just hit that blue arrow down. You can name it, hit save, and then you're going to upload it to Otis. That's it.